Good morning and welcome to Children's Chapel. This is a time of worship just for kids and their families. Today we have a special friend joining us. Miss Grace is going to be with us doing Children's Chapel and she is going to be working with us uh, for the next couple of months. You might remember her. Miss Grace worked with us last summer and she did a lot of these videos with us. So uh, we're going to get to see her and spend some time with her every week during this time as well. So we're gonna get started with our worship time with some singing and dancing. So why don't you all stand up and sing and dance along with us? You're watching Life Tree Kids. <laughs> God. Now it's time to put on our listening ears and pay attention to today's Bible story. Today we're learning about the story of the Good Samaritan and loving everyone, even if they hurt us. God's story, the Good Samaritan. So part of God's story is about a Good Samaritan, and it goes like this. When Jesus lived on earth, he often told stories to teach us things. Stories that teach a lesson are called parables. One day, Jesus told a parable about a good guy from a place called Samaria, a good Samaritan, to a group of Jewish people. It all started when a Jewish expert in the law asked Jesus, what must I do to receive eternal life? Basically, he was asking, what do I have to do to be perfect? Since this guy was an expert in the law, he thought he already knew how to be perfect because he knew all the rules. He just wanted to see what Jesus would say. Of course, Jesus knew what the man was thinking, so he asked him, what is written in the law? The man said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. So he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus answered him by telling this story. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Everybody listening was Jewish, and they could probably all picture the exact road Jesus was talking about. He continued, A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. You might expect a priest, who was supposed to serve God, to help, but he didn't stop. Then Jesus said, A Levite came to the place and saw him, but he passed by on the other side too. Levites were assistants to priests, so maybe you'd expect them to help too, but he didn't stop either. Finally, Jesus said, a Samaritan came along. Remember, a Samaritan is a person from Samaria. 
That's near Israel, where God's family, Jews, lived. But here's the thing. Jews and Samaritans didn't get along. In fact, nobody hearing this story would ever expect the Samaritan to help. Because Samaritans and Jews couldn't stand each other. But Jesus said, when the Samaritan saw the man, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out money and gave it to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will pay you back for any extra expense you have. Then Jesus asked, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law didn't even want to say the word Samaritan, but he admitted the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. In other words, go and love everyone, even people we don't like or people who everybody else wants to avoid. See, when we show love, we're obeying Jesus. Obeying God doesn't mean just doing what his rules say. It means loving him more than anything and showing his love to every single person that we meet. And that's the story of the Good Samaritan. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. A man asked Jesus how to get eternal life. Jesus said, what is written in the law? The man said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Then the man asked, who is my neighbor? Jesus told a story. If you missed Jesus' story, here's the quick, quick version. A Jewish man got beat up. A priest walked by. A priest assistant passed by. A man from Samaria actually did help. That was a surprise. Jesus had taught them, we obey God when we show love. And that's part of God's story. So in the story we just saw, we learned about the Good Samaritan. In this story, Jesus tells us to love our neighbor. But who is our neighbor? As we learned in our story, every person is our neighbor and deserving of God's love and our love. So in the story, the Jewish man who had been robbed and the Samaritan man who helped him came from two different groups who did not like each other. They were enemies. However, the Samaritan man still helped the Jewish man because he wanted to be a good neighbor and show love and compassion, even though the man was Jewish. So because everyone is our neighbor, everyone is deserving of our love and compassion. And the Bible tells us that Jesus wants us to love those who hurt us. Can you think of a time when someone was nice to you, even though you had not been nice to them? How did that make you feel? Well, when someone is nice to us, even if we don't deserve it, they are being a good neighbor and showing us love. But in turn, it usually makes us want to be nice to them because we like when people are nice to us. And if we are kind to those who are not kind to us, we might just gain a new friend. Sometimes people who are mean to others are just looking for a friend, but they don't know how to make friends. But why should we love others when they hurt us if they are mean to, and if they are mean to us? Well, when we love those who hurt us, we show God's love to others, and we know from the Bible that God loves everyone. If we are only kind to our friends, what's so great about that? Everybody does that. What makes Jesus and the Good Samaritan so special is that they show God's love to everyone. Jesus wants us to love our friends and those who may be unkind, just like the Good Samaritan loved the Jewish man by saving his life and caring for him when he was hurt. So the next time someone is unkind to you, remember that Jesus loves that person and we should be a kind neighbor to them. But in return, if you see someone who has hurt you who needs help, you can be a Good Samaritan and show love by helping them out. Now it's time to stand up and we're going to sing some more songs about God's love. This is the light of my
all did a great job. You can have a seat. Now we are going to pray together before we go. And so let's put our hands together and close our eyes and we're gonna pray to God together. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your love. Help me to share your love in all I say and do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me, Pastor Tiffania, and with Miss Grace here at Seminole Heights United Methodist Church. It was great seeing you today. We have new Children's Chapel videos every Sunday at 9.30, and we have worship together in person and online at 10.30 on Sundays. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.